Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm trying to get situated here. <laughs> okay. I think this is not the best angle. Okay. How y'all doing? This is Jennifer McCray, J. Shrink. You know, Shrink is for uh, a mental health advocate and a psychological professional by uh, training and education and um, experience but mostly my background is in mental health and, and counseling okay okay so um i'm going to talk about some things um that i don't do okay um uh oh wait a minute hold on i dropped something ah! oh so things I don't do. <laughs> okay. Um I've been on the YouTube about oh about three years, I think. Um and I'm not I don't have many views. I don't have subscribers. I don't know how to subscribe. I need somebody to teach me how to subscribe. I should have some subscribers by now, but it say I have eight. <laughs> And there have been people on YouTube uh, who just got on there and they have like a hundred, a hundred, a uh, hundred thousand or seventy five hundred or uh, eighty thousand. And they've just been on the Internet one, two months. And I've been on here almost three years, probably because of, you know, the things I like to cover because I do not ask you for any PayPal patreon or any of that uh my stuff is uh free so mine is educational but it's also entertaining in addition to educational but i like to educate and feed people's minds i like for people to think i don't like mindless stuff like that what's her name china black woman and the white delicious Changing, color bleaching, I don't deal in crap like that. Lovely tea type stuff, I don't deal with that. I don't deal with Kanye, I don't deal with Kim Kardashian. Only way I deal with Kanye, I will deal with him. Um, I will cover him if he's having, he, you know, he has bipolar disorder. If something's going, related, going on in his life that's related to his bipolar disorder. So that's the only way I cover him you know it won't be he loved donald trump this day he doesn't love donald trump that it won't it won't be that okay he's a coon i don't i don't do that okay i like for people to think okay uh the internet is for everything it's not just for celebrities and sports and cooking recipes it's also from people like me to teach you how to think to teach you about the propaganda that's going on and how you are being distracted by all this propaganda, you know, uh, and like they're using, and I'm guilty of this because I was trying to get some views like Colin Kaepernick. That's an agenda. Okay. That's a distraction story. There was this distraction story from all the shootings, cop shootings of black males and females, and all the antics in the Donald Trump administration. Okay, so a lot of times they use celebrities and things for agendas. And, and I've done some on Dr. Umar. I'm going to do another one on Dr. Umar. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do one called uh, on... Uh, uh, your fa most famous malignant narcissist. I mean, yeah, narcissist. M malignant narcissist. Narcissist is just, I, I explain that to y'all when we get to the video. But I'm researching it now, so I can't do it right now. So basically, we're going to have on one hand, uh, President Trump versus Dr. Umar Johnson. Which of these person is the most narcissistic uh, selfish, self-absorbed person. Which one of these two? 
and it's and, and that's a good thing too. It also adds the element of race in there <laughs> and education. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. And hopefully y'all give me some views. I y'all do give me views about the Umars. But uh I am kind of disappointed and you know I'm trying to teach you things and entertain you as well and you just like to focus on the kind of stupid distractions you know things are going around you know uh, going around uh there's so many uh you know i teach you about propaganda uh how to spy how they use propaganda uh how they use celebrities and uh sports figures and entertainers even politicians uh for um what is known as it's it's called in German Hegelian um oh, I forgot what that Hege uh it's a it's a thing thinking method. It's 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 called the he, uh Hegelian thinking method. And basically what it says is uh the uh the people who run the world, they come up with problems to distract us, okay? And after that, we get in the problem. We, we get distracted. We start infighting. We don't get together. And the, the, the powers that be are laughing, getting richer, doing what they want to be, want to do. And then there's the solution. The solution that they want you to come up with, but they want you to fight and look at stupidity and and you know just just stupidness. And I'm just trying to educate you about that, okay? Because I'm 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 kind of a cerebral, you know, nerdy type person, but you know I'm funny too. Okay, maybe not funny like a lot of your YouTubers are. Okay. And I also do, and I told y'all about my videos. I'll, let me show you a little thing about it. Oh, yeah, like I said, I don't have many uh, videos. Like, there are people, I've been on the internet preaching, preaching mental illness, specifically in the in the black community, mental, mental illness, or anything related to psychological matters, mental health, uh, sociological Things that make you think and things that make you laugh. So, I, I think my most videos I have gotten, as a matter of fact, I've been on here almost three years now. I only have eight subscribers. I don't even know how to subscribe. Could one of y'all YouTubers come, uh, send me a video or email or something on how to subscribe? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have but eight <laughs> and I cannot have uh, 800 views. On my Umar Johnson videos and have eight subscribers. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's just what I wanted to say. Okay, and I want to tell you, and I do videos on such things as I'll give you the. Can you see this? This is my uh, YouTube. This is for people who are on Facebook. It's Jennifer. McCray J slash shrink for shrink for psychological professional. Okay, I do things on and, and they're and they're, and they're very interesting, y'all. Just it's not I'm not, I know uh, I'm I'm kind of like uh I do things like uh, Lisa Cabrera uh what's her name um. Torian Rain, uh, Nyla says, uh, who else I do things like, uh, anti Afro Svengali, you, you know, her specialty is Umar Johnson. So I'm, 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 I'm kind of, you know, cerebral like them. I analyze things and I teach you. But here's some of my videos. Once you get on my, um, if you can see that, can you see that? Okay, I will tell you some of my things right now. I'm doing a ser I'm doing a series right now. It's called a uh, scientific racism, 
and I haven't really they're on the they're on my uh site, but I haven't really uh uh prioritized them yet to like one, two, three, four. I just have the titles, you know, as I went along. And I'm getting a lot of sources, especially Dr. Harriet Washington, uh medical apartheid apartheid. Uh that's been a very resourceful book. And it, 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 you will enjoy it. I, it. It's very, you know, it, it's intellectual, but you learn a lot. But I'm going to sum it up for you so you don't have to, you know, have to, to read the whole thing. So I do things like, uh, let me see. Okay. okay, this is the one on the syphilis study. Remember in the 1932, the U U.S. Public Health Service got uh poor black sharecroppers from uh Macon uh Alabama oh I'm sorry that had syphilis and they told them they had bad blood and they gave them scheduled times to be treated. They did a very unscientific study on these men for forty years. Um and when there was a um when there was a when penicillin came along uh they prevented the men from getting treated so they watched the progression from a uh, maybe a little sore the shanker sore on your genitals uh all the way until they died of insanity or heart disease or some other type of disease the end stage so this was a horrible, I've been in research for, oh Lord, six years. I worked at the medical school when it was LSU uh, Medical uh, School of Medicine. So I've done, I've been in, in research for six years. So it, this is a horrible clinical study. It was horrible. Okay. This other one that's in that um, vein. Let me see what this is. Oh, Henrietta Lacks. Wait a minute. It's in red right here. Okay, Henry Adelaide. This is a very interesting one. Another poor from North Carolina. She she was a young mother, thirty one. She had cervical cancer. Uh, she was uh, uh uh her husband picked tobacco. They worked in a tobacco farm, and uh they took her sales, and they the white people and they profited from her sales and her family didn't get anything. Uh, so that's an interesting that in Tuskegee and let me see what this other one is. Oh, oh, oh this is a real interesting. This, I know y'all like sex. So I got a sex one. This one is called, let me see what this one's called. Oh, okay. This one is called the horrific story of the hidden tot Venus. Okay, so basically what that is, that's about, uh, they got this woman from South Africa. You know those, uh, the, the bush people, the uh, koi koi people, the little short koi koi people with the big butts. Uh, and the women have the, uh, the large genitals. You know, they, 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 their butts and genitals, uh, unlike any other black Africans or anybody else in the world. And this was in 1817, 1800s, whenever. But anyway, um, so they use her as a sexual fetish in exhibits, uh, zoos, uh, and, uh, doctors and, uh, just scientific men like to probe around her, in her body and just fetishized her because she had an uh, unusual look. But she has the same look that Miss Kim Kardashian has now. And isn't it ironic? Uh, what is it? Two, 200 or so years ago, Kim Kardashian.